<coughs> I'm going to Florida in two days, so I thought I'd talk about that a little bit at the end of this video. But before then, I'm going to have a quick brief preview, review, look at thoughts on two new American TV shows named The Event and No Ordinary Family. Both are new American TV shows which I've already mentioned previously. The first of these shows is The Event. First of all, the title sequence is completely uninspiring and off-putting, but that's fine. There's been two episodes aired so far. The first episode was meh. Meh. And the second episode was hmm, interesting. Here is a breakdown of my emotions when watching the episodes. Here's episode one. Can you hear the aeroplane? I'm gonna be on one of those in two days. Actually, we'll be boarding soon in two days. Here's episode one. And here was episode two. So overall, as you can see, that was much better than episode one. Uh, episode one kind of has too much mystery. It's, um, I think they're, they're trying to make it the next loss with all this mystery. It's got a hell of a lot of flashbacks. A bit like flash forward, though that had flash forwards which aren't flashbacks. Well, it did have flashbacks as well, but they weren't exactly the main focus. Just like flash forward isn't the main focus of this video, so get to the fucking point, resource man. So, uh, the second episode unravels some of those mysteries. You actually find out a hell of a lot. Uh, maybe something that they should have covered in the first episode, but uh, overall, a massive improvement on the second episode. Uh, I mean, the second episode is a massive improvement on the first episode, and... At the end of the first episode, I felt a little bit underwhelmed, but I was like, "Well, I'll give it another, give it another go, see what, see what they do." And I'm very happy to report that they they do improve it a lot. I don't really want to ruin anything because you should experience it for yourself. But it's kind of like a conspiracy government, lots of cover up government stuff. Uh, very good character scene, all right, a little bit cliched. But again, I'm going to give it a few more episodes, see where it goes. But I, I think I'm definitely on board for at least. Uh, several more episodes. Now over to the the Ordinary Family, or if you're calling it by its correct name, No Ordinary Family, which you always should try and call things by the correct names. No Ordinary Family stars Rita from Dexter and The Thing from Fantastic Four, also two children teenagers. They basically get superpowers and hilarity and calamity and adventure and shoes. The pilot is the only episode that's aired so far and it was very strong. I very much enjoyed it. Um, it's, it started off a little bit cliched and I was like, hmm. In fact, wait, maybe it's time for my breakdown of my emotions during the episode. So this was episode one. So as you can see, I went from sh disbelief. I, I didn't think it started too strongly in the first 10 minutes or so. It starts getting really good, um, and then progressively better. I was worried about the plot and story details, and just was worried that it was going to be another boring, stupid family superhero romp. Not that they're exactly common, but I could just kind of picture it in my head like that. But the way that they handled it was actually very good. Although the powers are a little bit mainstream, slightly, although, yeah, I can't really go into it too much, but no, they're, they're good, good power, power choice selection. The characters are quite very good. Uh, special effects are actually pretty excellent for a TV show. It shows kind of how, how advanced we've gone in the last few years. Uh, lines are going to be drawn in terms of comparison to heroes, of course. I think the show will probably want to stay away or step away from any 
anything that Heroes did really, just just to make itself its own unique property and to try and avoid that from happening. And certainly so far it seems like, I mean there, there are some similarities, but it's definitely promising. A very good pilot, very funny as well in places. Uh, it's got the, the, the black dude from the 40 year old virgin. What's his name? Uh, okay, it doesn't say his name, but there is a picture of him on the back of the box. And he's very funny in this as well. Uh, he provided a lot of the humour comic relief. So, pretty excellent. I'm definitely, definitely on board for No Ordinary Family. Potentially hilarious and uh, potentially very good. Potentially awesome. Potentially could be awesome. Potentially could be amazingly decent. So that's my rundown of two new shows that have started in America. Uh, very good and I definitely recommend them. Of course we've also got The Walking Dead coming out this autumn fall which starts in the UK on the 5th of November and in the US on the 31st of October. So Halloween and bonfire night. Fireworks night? Uh, what's his name? Remember, remember uh, Guy Fawkes. Yeah him. He was there somewhere. So yeah, you should check that out as well. So I'm going to Florida, basically I'm a rather large thrill seeker and I'm kind of shitting myself in anticipation of the awesomeness that's going to be occurring. Uh, this time in one week I will be 1 to 12, 12 to 11, 10 to 10, 10 to 9, 10. Well, okay, I'll probably be getting up, but later on in the day this time in a week I'll be going to Disney's Animal Kingdom, which is the home to several good rides, including Expedition Everest. I love roller coasters, they're quite fun. Do you like roller coasters? I like roller coasters quite a lot. I'm going to Florida, I don't know if I've mentioned that. So yeah, I'm really excited. They've got the new new Harry Potter land, uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which has got uh, such rides as a ground, bake ground baking. Yes, you cook earth in it. Mmm, Mississippi mud pie lol. Don't eat grass, don't smoke grass, don't do drugs, don't sniff coke, don't snort coke. If you're going to have coke, make it a cola. Tangent. <sighs> Sorry, I really went off on one then. So, yeah, they've got this groundbreaking new ride, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, which is kind of like a robo-arm dark ride, amazing. I mean, I've heard one guy said that you need 30 minutes just to explore the queue line, which sounds excessive and I don't believe him. Um, but hey, it's going to be pretty amazing and just uh, incredibles. I've mentioned previously that I'm going to try and do Resource Man daily when I'm out there, but I might not be able to, so if I can't, there'll only be one or two more episodes this week, which will be a review of the town, and maybe one more, but uh, there's a probably likely that I won't have time to do it on Friday, so there probably won't be one on Friday. Unless there's one when I get to Florida. We'll see. So, um, I'll say goodbye properly tomorrow, if I don't speak to you again soon. Although I'm not really speaking to you, it's more speaking at you, because you can't reply. So have fun in Florida, me, lol.